Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where I'm, I'm going to do something for, I, I know I don't like four arrows very much but I am going to put some four arrows in Kind of back here I think See if that helps people getting to I mean 100% of people are apparently getting to these tanks but whether they're looking at them from here and not getting to the middle there means that then they're not being pulled up by the arrows to the tanks up here is maybe a problem. Let's have a look if that helps. Might take a while to actually help. We just got rank eight and we've got oh wolf fish for sale. I like wolf fish. Uh, tasseled shark as well. You're a warm water shark. I think they can go in with the... Uh... Oh, they'll eat fish though. Oh, man. Well, you know what? I think they need to go with the humpback snappers then. Because they'll all eat fish and they're all a bit of a pain. I think they need a new tank. I think it's time for tunnel tanks. Yeah, I think it's definitely time for tunnel tanks. And we've got the wolf fish for sale. She eats crustaceans with a size 2 or less. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure there's room for you somewhere. Well, there's two of them, and they grow to size 33. Okay. I don't have to put them down yet. Let's see about this tank. How much room have we got? We've only got 20 space in there. Oh, no. Clownfish are unlocked. Also, Jenna no, Bartlett on Thias, I think. Um, mm. Pancho has also leveled up. That's great. Let me think about these wolf fish. Now, the Atlantic Pollock here. They are large fish, but which may eat smaller fish. Okay. I think we have small fish in this other tank because we uh, let's just actually close everything and open the two cold water tanks up so we've got atlantic pollock and bull hus we've got striped box fish which are a size three and french angel fish oh hang on that's not a cold water tank what am i doing we've got the cuckoo wrasse and things in here all oh, right okay yeah i've got a plan i've got a plan the the pollock don't We've got space in there, but the, the Pollock don't need anything. They don't need... They just need their sand eels, and they're good. So, what we do is we move them in here, where they will be absolutely fine. And then we just have the wolf fish in with the sharks. Cool. Just going to pick a new research quickly. So... Oh no! What happened? No! I oh, I didn't notice that there were eels and there was a hermit crab in there. Oh no. How many hermit crabs did I have in there? Did I have any others? Yes. You need to move somewhere else. Before that eel gets you. Do you guys eat crustaceans? Yes. Do all you guys eat? Oh, good grief. We've got to go for all these to try and work out which ones do and don't eat crustaceans. I could just move it and see if it's at danger of being eaten by anything. It doesn't give you warnings when it's at danger of being eaten, though. I don't think you have to go through everything. What about you, foxtail, rabbit fish thingies? Do you eat crustaceans? No. Do you eat crustaceans? No. Alright. Alright, that's where you're going then, crustacean. This is a real balancing act, this. There's no room for it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna sell one of the... Uh, Foxface rabbit fish, I think. 
I don't need as many as I've got. You are in danger of being eaten over there, so you go in there. The green Murray Ill is not happy because it hasn't been fed its herring. Okay. Let's just have a quick check on the... That's the only the second thing I've lost so far, though. In a way, I'm quite happy by that. Do we actually have any herring in the aquarium at all? Must do somewhere. But it's not anywhere near the uh, the eel, so it's getting a bit annoyed that it's not being eat uh, fed. I'm sure it's quite happy it's not being eaten. There we are. Lovely. Oh, I've completely forgotten what I was going to do now. But that's really annoying because that's lowered my base prestige. And you never get that back. If you lose enough fish, I think it can be impossible to win the aquarium. But what I need is torques, really. Am I going to get them next level? Or have we got them already? No, it'll be toys next, and then torques probably the level after that. But getting toys and popcorn carts and things like that is going to be quite useful. Okay, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Ah! Okay, that is working a little bit. The arrows are working. Yeah, nice. Might need another staff door. Maybe there and there. I never put staff doors in without it being paused because that's the way that everybody ends up in the wrong part of the aquarium. In the meantime... <laughs> really? I had a coral grouper in there. Do you know what? I don't care. We're not having crabs anymore. They can just get lost. Getting annoyed by them. I get really annoyed when something just won't go anywhere. Because I've spent so long trying to get everything else to fit. And then I've suddenly got something that doesn't fit. And I should really make new tanks for them. But then I worry that I won't get everybody through to the new tanks. I mean, I should put more floor arrows down, really. That's probably all I need. All those have grown. Longhorn cowfish is fine because it's in with its mates. Bandler mass 2 is just in with its mates. Yeah, that's fine. The starfish doesn't really do anything when it's uh, leveled up. I do dislike making mistakes, and the fact I've lost two crabs now uh, really, really irritated me. I looked at it, and it was like, crustaceans are size 3 or less. I must have looked at these guys and just not managed to look at that one. Very upsetting. Poor little crabs. They just go nowhere. Like, I don't even think... I think these guys won't want to be housed with them. These guys will eat them. Actually, that tank will take them. I don't think there's anything there that has any kind of warning on it. The panther grouper is in a different tank, by the way. So it's that one, that one, that one, and that. Yeah, it's only got four different things in it. And the oblique line dotty back won't eat them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. How much room is in the tank? None. However, if I sold a couple of the demoiselles, I could put a couple of crabs in. I'll keep a real eye on them, though. I mean, luckily they're not something I can't replace. Let's 
see how they're looking. Are you happy? Nothing gonna eat you in there? And the tank is full, so we're happy. Yep, cool. Looks a bit bare that time. We could do with a bit of decorating, really. Got a cannon in your tank. Oh, that makes it look a lot better, doesn't it? that double filter. People aren't finding this side as, as good as the other side. They're not, not grabbing people. Problem is I'm telling them to go this way and this way at the same time. Which is an issue. Because sometimes they're like, no, I just want to go this way and they're just getting caught by the arrows. And they don't look at everything. But you know what? That's okay. It's fine. Um, I'll just... I don't want to be too obsessed with that. But I will be probably not putting massive kind of lagoon tanks in the middle. sometimes you get 100% across all of there and sometimes you don't. It's just whether people can be bothered walking all that way. I may have overdone the arrows. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. They seem to work well up here though. I don't generally like having the aquarium much bigger than this. It's going to get huge though. It's a case of how do I make it huge and still get everybody to, to look at all the tanks. Not sure. Doing talks around there might, might be good. And then maybe talks around here. Don't want too many talks so they get bored of the talks. I know, it's terrible. Alright, let's see what we've got now. No more crabs have died. Yes! That's amazing. I wanted someone to be good at the gift shop. See, blue knuckle crab one um, got sold and two and three died. I think that's what happened. So I want some more shipwreck paint. This area looks a bit silly. Could, put, could make that a sandy area as well. Put some like um, palm trees and stuff there and, and just make it cool. all painted in and I want some palm trees like I say I want to make this look pretty but sometimes it makes it very difficult <laughs> oh no come on popcorn we need popcorn If I need to, I'll I'll have a um do this area. And what I'll probably do is once I open the area out a bit more, I will bring the benches and the coffee machine into the middle there. And we might put some arrows through just to pull people around. It's good that I've got hundred percent up here now though. I've got decent percentages around here. Oh actually we have really good percentages except for these two. Like I say, it's just difficult to get them to go all the way around there. Horse eye jack is done. So it's a bubble tip of an enemy and then I, I haven't even put half the stuff in. Oh, it's, it's terrible. 
But I am happy that I managed to get people to, to come up to this area a bit more. So we're going to expand the aquarium again, I think, now. I want it paused for this. Oh, no. Ah, no. It's all going funny shaped and stuff. Get away. Okay, so we recently had a staff door. But I think we want another one about there. We very recently had a staff door there, so I think a staff door around here would be fine. We're probably going to want some kind of nice tank though. And we've got tunnel tanks now, and I'm like, well, they're cool. Let's use them. Let me see. We now have the small tunnel tank, which can go up to 280. Nice and big. Be good for things like our horse jacks to go into. And it might be nice to have a tunnel tank for some of the rest of our cold water fish. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see whether we want to go to cold water or back to warm water. So, how big do they go? I mean, I could get a bit artistic with it and uh, have them quite long and small and then have them kind of alternate with each other and then put some like, yeah, I think that's a good idea actually. Do I need them to be as big as they can be? It's not gonna hurt, is it? So I'm gonna start just with one. I'm gonna take out the, uh, the backing along there so I can move it into position. So with the tunnel tanks, because they're so big and long, I'm just going to have them so that the, the guests walk around. This one will be warm water. So I think what I've been doing with the floor areas is maybe misusing them slightly in that I'm like, I'm making the point where I want them to go, but it's where I want them to capture the guests from. At the moment we have 100% here. So we want to be sending those guests onwards towards the tunnel tank. Using other floor arrows. So I know they're getting about that far. I reckon if I did that maybe that would send people to within the because if you move that that's got quite a big area so that area covers the the arrows as well So people will come up to this tank. Okay, so I think I'm going to put my horse eye jacks in there for a start. And I've got like a shark or something that I wasn't able to put in before because I didn't have space for it. So let's do the level up for Lorenzo. And... Ignore all the autopsy reports. Yeah, delete all the autopsy reports because they make me feel bad. Um, the wolf fish I still have. Oh yes, I still have them, and they. I had a plan for them. They were to go in with the sharks. In there. Cool. And then we've got the wobbagong shark, which I would like to pop in here. How are we doing in there? So they need a bit of a, a hidey hole cave again in there. So I need to possibly move a couple of things around in the tank so that these uh, these guys will be a bit happier. Hmm. 
And they've got room to grow a bit as well. They'll grow from 7 up to 33 though. So I still don't think they actually have enough room. <laughs> Wow. Well, no, they'll grow to 16 after six days. Oh, okay. No, that's not so bad then. So we need another, like, nine. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. They'll fit perfectly in there. But they just need a couple of... A bit of TLC. Please tell me you don't eat enemies or anything, though. No, just crustaceans. That's fine. Right, so the next thing I want to do... Move the tank around a little bit. Just so I've got a, a, a four space. Probably if I just move the little compass by there. I could get a pitted column or a rocky overhang in. I think a rocky overhang would do. They'd be well happy, and they need to be fed crab, apparently. So there's another, yet another thing for this tank. Mind you, I've moved some things away, so actually... Might not be as bad as it looks. Crab, 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 crab. So in here, the, sh the wolf fish need crab, and the bull husk need supplements and cockles so the sand eels and mussels are not actually needed over here at all however it might not be too bad to have spares over here i haven't seen any dispensers run out yet but you never know you got to be careful with these things that'd be the last thing i'd want is a fish to die because it didn't have enough dispensers I make enough other mistakes without that happening. Oh, hang on. That wasn't meant to be a door. That was meant to be a wall. Oops. Okay, so what are we going to put in here? We've got a shark in here already. Um, reckoning... The shark will probably be big enough to take the horse-eyed jacks with it. Horse-eyed jacks are a bit of a pain. Am I still researching them or have I got them? No, I've got them. There's a load of stuff I need to put in. So much stuff. Horse-eyed jacks, 10 to 27, and they need 60 space. So this is why we made a really big place for them. Um, and they need to shoal in a group of three. So they're eventually going to be huge. But the shark is also pretty huge. Uh, it's 11, so unless they can eat... I think, they, I think when they fully grow, they eat things up to 10. So I think they will be fine together the whole way through. It's, it's amazing, like, the experience you start to get by the time you get to this level in the game of, like, you actually start to know what things are going to be like when they're fully grown. But I would love more information on what they're going to be able to eat when they're fully grown earlier on I can plan around what they're going to do rather than just having to know it off by heart it would help a lot so what have we got in there now we've got the wobbegong shark and the horse eye jack is there anything else we can put in with that only big things though uh, humpback snappers will be fine in there until the point where they they may yeah they shouldn't eat anything in there three of them and we'll see how that goes. It's in quite a big tank with big fish in them. I think this might be a triple tank, so it might need quite a large... Um, yeah. Honestly, I think what might be best here is to do this. Hey. Why is the stairway too... Sm why is it not snapping? That was weird. I mean, that'll work, but that was weird. And then I'll put all their stuff maybe like back there along the wall so they can grab it and come up here, up there. Right, so what do you need to eat, guys? You need sand eel, herring, supplement, and crab. Sand eel, herring. 
implements. Crab. And what do you need in your in your cave? In your cage? You need probably something like a pitted column, I would say. Cool. And we need some greenery. It's always nice when it actually needs greenery. Hmm. Let me get some of that other back, actually. That actually goes nicely in that particular um, setup. A feather flute for maybe. What else have we got now? Any new stuff? Egg rack. Be nice around the middle somewhere, around there. I'm actually tempted to get rid of the feather loop and put other things in. It doesn't seem to go quite as well. I could move it maybe. Just chop it in there. Actually, that's fine. Still a bit short on the old uh, greenery. Oh, we can see it all down here. That's good. That's actually quite nice. A bit of a zigzag pattern of egg rack there. Right, so now we just need to get the pump sorted out for it. Um, it's going to be quite a big one, I think. This might even need two pumps for the whole thing. I don't know. Depends on how big the filters are nowadays. Well, large double filters now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a mega heater on it. And then I'm going to put a second mega heater on it. really is overkill though. I wonder if I can get reach over to there. Not really. Hang on, let's move it a bit. Right, that still reaches there. Oops. It also reaches that tank. So that's nice. That's good. I might need to put a little bit of extra room in behind here because I think we're at the point now where we're getting some very, very large filters. I knew this day would come. I told you, didn't I? I said that would happen. I'm not even on the biggest filters either. Oh, we're all done. <laughs> Didn't even need a bigger filter than that. We can put in big filters. I would love to kind of just put pumps, put a big row of um, of like heaters and then a big row of filters and just a big row of pumps and make it look really neat, but it's a very inefficient way of doing it, but it looks nicer. It's like, I don't know. I think they're happy in their little home, so let's just play it and just make sure that they're all all right. I don't think they're going to eat each other. It's always a chance that they will, but oh well. Well, they're doing really nicely with the old uh, prestige there from the new animals that I've put in, which is nice. Paint up these walls quickly. Paint the tank. Like, some of you guys have been asking for kind of like a uh, a sandbox playthrough, but this is almost like one. Quite honestly. Hey, what other fish do we have? And what is it telling us? A couple of level ups now, so be better at fixing. Be better at feeding. 
haven't had any trouble with feeding yet and I, I think it's because I do play on fast forward a lot and I let them level up a lot. So it's helped me a lot with getting the feeding done each day. Mind you, I think it's still going to be a bit tricky. There's still quite a lot of stuff that needs, um, that does need feeding. The fixing isn't too bad. That seems, they seem to be on top of the fixing. Okay, we're at half past one and we've got two lots of muscles still to be fed. And yes, they are being done. That's great. And we are so close. Look. Wow, if I put another couple of... Oh, we've got the bull tip and enemy. We are very, very close to level 9 now. That is crazy. We've got so many things that we can we can do and get and I haven't even put in anywhere. Oh my goodness me. Rank 8 we are. So, spotted boxfish. Dislikes food competitors. Leopard sharks. Oh, let's get some leopard shark going. Yeah. I could maybe go in here, actually. With all my big stuff. Um, people aren't really making it as far as here, though, anymore. And they are apparently needing the toilet, so a toilet in here might be a good idea. Oh, we have torques now. When did we put that in? So they've got toilets now. They've got things to drink. I noticed a couple of toilet icons up there. So I was like, oh, we'd better put some more in around here then. Uh, so what do we want to do next? Dante has leveled up. Be better at feeding, Dante. We are running out of money. Okay. I'm just going to run the aquarium for a little bit then. We might put some podiums in in a bit, but I, I need to run run it for a little bit for money. Ooh, popcorn carts. Oh, deluxe toilets. Definitely. No, copper band toys. They'll make a big difference to prestige. And we ranked up. Yay! We're now level 9 and there's all these cool things, the seahorses and stuff, all the things that I was getting in the last aquarium and you guys were getting quite excited about. So we are level 9 now, we have 10 and 11 and 12 still to go, so we do have a few episodes left on this aquarium. I've got loads of work to do on it, but I am super happy. I'm liking how this is going, I'm liking... Um, the pace on it i'm liking the way i get to design it all myself i'm liking the fact that the whole thing is symmetrical because that matters to me that matters to me a lot but anyway that's going to be it for today's episode so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more mega aquarium please subscribe and i will let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>